Hello everyone, and welcome to, um, an interesting reading with, um, joining me is Ollie Handcock, and, uh, say, you could say hello. Hello, hi everybody. Yeah, he does, uh, YTPs and, um, uh... Various other things. Yeah, lots of Music lots and whatnot, mashups, remixes of the sort. Yeah, exactly. Um... And so it occurs to me that I usually, I honestly thought about it, and this is kind of unrelated, but I usually think I tend to do content that, you know, I like on my channels. So, there's that. And then, I I guess we kind of are doing not that today. <laughs> this is this is a horrible fanfic written about me for some reason. <laughs> So, um, I'll, I'll let, I'll, I'll read the title and then I'll let Ollie here get started. He's going to be reading most of it, I'm going to chime in and tell everyone that this is the worst fanfic ever. Not, li well, <laughs> probably not literally. I don't know if it's worse than that Harry Potter one. God, I can't remember what it's called right now. <laughs> probably not. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Dream of Bean by Rainbow DJ Pony, a.k.a. Rainbow Melody, a.k.a. Some Guy. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, should I get started? Mm-hmm. All right. Dream Feather is a terrible flyer. This is a fact, but that didn't stop Green Bean from loving him. Green Bean watched her mate fly and loop at odd times as he flew excited but slowly towards her while she hovered gracefully in the air. For those for those who didn't know, Dream Feather <laughs> is Sapir's OC. This actually comes from our Legends of Equestria Let's Play, <laughs> <laughs> which oh, is yeah. what this is based off of. Um, also, yes, Dream Feather is a ser terrible flyer because Sapir is terrible at everything. <laughs> Oh, no. Dream Feather flapped wildly and almost dive-bombed into another Pegasi, yelling his apologies back to the yellow and pink mare, who squeaked and quickly landed herself on the ground, choosing to walk over flying. Green Bean shook her head as her mate finally made it to where she was. Dream Feather hovered shakily in the air, seeing at any moment to either fall out of the sky or blast off into space. Mm. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, and apparently this next sentence is Dream Feather again. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I, you know, I wish I could blast off to space right now. I think that's a reasonable plan. That really should have been <laughs> where the story went. Oh yes. Well, instead, Green Bean, my love, I have come, and now we can have sexy fun times. Well, that's <laughs> that's what she smiled said. Gleefully. <laughs> What's the pair said? <laughs> Apparently, jeez. Apparently, since their marriage two weeks ago, Dream Feather had calculated that they'd had enough sexy fun times to last times of everyone in Ponyville. Oh, that pony. that is impressive, <laughs> and I doubt it's true. Dream Feather didn't. <laughs> oh no, probably not. Dream Feather didn't have the stamina for long love making sessions, but what he lacked <laughs> in longevity <laughs> he made up for with size and speed. You know, I should he I was... should tell Sapair this. I should go up and be like, hey Sapair. I bet... <laughs> Oh totally. Well apparently he was hung like a horse. <laughs> well, you know, horses tend to be. Oh. And had the speed of Rainbow Dash locked in his hips. That actually Combined sounds together, kind of painful. That does. Uh. Doesn't. Oh God. Combined together, it didn't matter that their love making might only last for forty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Might only last for forty-five minutes, eighty minutes tops. Yes, because eighty <laughs> minutes is well known for being a short love making <laughs> session. <laughs> Uh, there's... This guy is like your fan. I love my fans. I want... <laughs> Good God, I wish somebody would write some crazy fan fiction about me. Not really, but... <laughs> well, you That's know, hilarious. I think I think they should. I think you deserve to have love making for 80 minutes at a time. <laughs> Tops. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. 
when he rammed his huge cock in her tight gun and started thrusting like a demented dynamo, her nerves were so overloaded with sensory input that she didn't last more than 40 minutes herself. That was one of Green Bean's odd quirks that Dream Feather loved. Oh god, this, the typos are horrible. That was one if Green Bean's odd quirks that Dream Feather loved. She could keep time better than a clock, this becoming evident in her reply to his offer of sexy fun times. I actually don't even know where he got that. I, neither I nor my OC have been particularly well known to being amazing at keeping times. <laughs> oh, oh. I regularly forget things. Like, yeah. Oh. oh God, Vanilla Bean Baby, you took almost twenty eight minutes to fly over here from Sugar Cube Corner. Do you really think we have time for sexy fun times right now? Dream Feather smiled, hearing his nickname come from. Oh, that was you. Okay, this is yours. Why would? Apparently. But uh, why would I so call, you him call him Vanilla Bean? You call him Vanilla Bean, apparently. So this is you. Well, wait, yeah. I think. Yeah, you're uh, right. That is. Yeah, this is you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I Here guess r- time for reread. <laughs> Vanilla Bean, baby, you you took almost twenty eight minutes to fly over here from Sugar Cube Corner. You dumb slow ass. Do you really think <laughs> we have time for sexy fun times right now? And. Yeah, oh Dream Feather smiled hearing his nickname come from Green Bean's sweet lips. When an odd Pegasus pirate first called him Vanilla Bean as a joke so he'd match his mate's name, he hated it, until he understood why he called him that. He thought about the old pony who gave him the nickname. Well, now there, Feathers, yar little fillies named Green Bean, eh? <laughs> Oh god, pirate speak. <laughs> yours should be vanilla bean. Spirit, <laughs> spirit, pirate speak intensifies. Uh... But... And then you're the next, yeah. No, that's, that's, that's him. That's, that last, that last line, isn't that you? No, oh, that's no, him, that... it's him being oh, upset that, about that calling him. There yeah. we go. What? I'm not vanilla. <laughs> that's, goes, that's true. You can tell from his color. He is, oh, he yes. is clearly a distinct shade of chocolate. Yes, this fanfic writer is, is cray cray. Um, <laughs> I don't even say cray cray, but I'm applying it here because it fits. It does very well. Ah, uh, yar, son. Vanilla beans are brown, just like yar. Well, they're not brown in any ice cream I've had. <laughs> they're not brown in ice cream, and don't they more tend to be black than brown? I don't know. Either way, she's a green bean, so you're a vanilla bean. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Dream Feather thought of the old Pegasus pirate's laugh cackling at him till he had laugh too finally getting the joke you know for some reason i'm imagining this laughing scene kind of like the one from final fantasy 10 <laughs> <laughs> for okay. titus's laugh activates just yes I'm, I'm... he wondered where he was now if he was still being a pirate of the high clouds he'd known that old stallion sense was a small cult and while oh god it should be since <laughs> since he was a small coat <laughs> <laughs> and while the stories he told him as a child made him believe he had a friend that was a pirate when Dreamfeather got older, he knew they couldn't be true, or at least he hoped they weren't. Dreamfeather shook his head, focusing on Green Bean. No, my bean pie, I don't think we have much time. But then again, I don't think we need much time, remember? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we only need 40 minutes. <laughs> We can, we yeah. can do it. <laughs> oh, God. He smiled mischievously, which told Green Bean she wasn't going to get away so easily. She sighed, smiling at her mate. Oh, all right. I suppose we have a few minutes to spare, and I love being late. Come on. <clears throat> Come on, let's go on top of... Yes, let's let's go on top of Town Hall. I want to see you fall. Pretend you're <laughs> King Kong for me. <laughs> oh God! Dream Feather gawked at Green Bean as she flew gracefully away. She did say on top of Town Hall. 
He smiled as he felt her... What? Does this make any sense? He smiled as he felt here spreading through his loins. He loved this mare. She seemed so ladylike and innocent, but within that mind, behind... Yeah, you seem very innocent. Behind that sweet, beautiful smile was a superior... God, was a super freak dominatrix. Well, you know, that's flew... true. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he flew after her oddly flying straight uh... when he was focused on her rump. Oh, wait, that wasn't odd. He landed almost on top of her when they got to town and she laughed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't laugh. I can't force myself to laugh very well. Quite eager, though, are we, Vanilla Bean? Don't worry, you can have all of me. I, I don't know how he's only going to have half of me, but okay. Moving on. <laughs> Let's not get math into this equation. I think yes. this guy has enough trouble with English. Oh, yes. Green Bean flopped onto her back, spread eagle, barring all of her male... Ma oh, God. <laughs> Barring, but that should be like <laughs> bearing. Oh god, spread eagle bearing because it's supposed to not be barring. That yeah. doesn't make any sense. Just... Barring all her mare parts to dream feather <laughs> or male or whatever. <laughs> I, <laughs> love, I love I bearing know. things to people. Yes, what's what's it's better than barring? Um, he looked at her laying prone before him and felt his wings stiffen and slowly start to spread. His How do I feel were on that? Fire. I don't know. <laughs> God. His loins were on fire and throbbing as he took a step towards his mate. He watched as she started playing with her perfect little pussy and breasts, rubbing them with her perfect lidded... <laughs> what? The little... Little hooves. Little there's, hooves. Some, there's something was... wrong with that, boy. She was... Yeah, she, I can imagine lidded hooves now. Like... <laughs> Some uh, weird deformity Sapere has. Mm. She was perfect, just perfect, and he was perfectly hard, now finding it rather uncomfortable to walk with the mask that was now under his belly. Dreamfeather wasn't a big, tall stallion, and he knew that, but he never let that bother him. He knew he was just big where it counted in his heart. He... <laughs> I thought it was it's, going well, somewhere it is, else. It is hard. <laughs> it is hard. Maybe something else. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> His love for Green Bean knew no boundaries. He'd die for her, fly right for her, jump off the edge of the map for her, because that makes sense, yeah. and fly to the moon for her. He was in love. The thing throbbing between his legs was just a tool he used to show her his love. That's I'm sure that's what all the guys say. Oh, uh, okay. I should actually, I should ask the pair. I should be like, hey, the pair, would you get sent to the moon for me? Go ahead and go up and, and insult Celestia. Slap her right in her butt. It'd be great. You'll have fun. I don't love the moon. Oh, yeah fly to the moon for her. He was in love. The thing throbbing between his legs was just a tool he used to show her his love. That's why when he went inside her, he let loose everything he had. He knew he couldn't go all night long, at least not without having a thousand rounds. <laughs> okay, then. Okay. But what he lacked in that regard, he made up for by having... Amazing hugs and kisses and magical mouth action that Green Bean appreciated with much enthusiasm. <laughs> magical Dream... mouth action. They should put oh, yes. that on Magic... the back of the box. That should. I was about to say the same damn thing. Uh... Magical mouth action. Hmm. It's like, it should be... Oh god, I can just imagine plop toys in 2020. I, just, I don't know. I just want that... I don't just want that for the back of this box. I want that for the next oh, yeah. Call of Duty. Call of Duty, whatever. I want Magical the back of the box to say... Ma yep. <laughs> Magical mouth action. Uh... Wow. Dream Feather lowered his head to Green Bean's soft pussy lips and licked slowly up between them. She gasped and wiggled under them. He placed a hoof on either side of her hips now, somewhat locking her in place, and his bowed head licked and nibbled her delicate mare parts. Oh, God. He licked her pussy, suckled her nipples, nippled her thigh. Nipped her thighs and rolled... <laughs> and rolled his tongue on her clit till she was a panting, shivering mess of earthy green mare beneath him. 
earthy. <laughs> You're earthy. I, Dreamfeather yeah. felt like he was about to explode just from this alone. Man, Green bean doesn't his face. doesn't that just bring along oh. the, the sexiest like idea in someone's mind? A shivering mess of earthy green mare. Uh, I don't think a shivering mess of earthy anything is good. <laughs> y- yeah. Um, <laughs> oh God, where was I? <laughs> green bean grabbed his face with her front hooves and pulled him over her by his head. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> enough vanilla baby I need you in me now we don't have much time for our sexy fun times you know before we gotta break into the bank I don't know <laughs> it's they're actually I think they're actually I don't know if they even said it his exposition was terrible but apparently in the paragraph before the story starts they're going to a doctor's appointment oh <laughs> the apparently Apparently I don't know. so. I thought it was. Nodded. You know, I thought it was actually yeah. going somewhere a lot more fun with the fact that I saw something about pirates, but it was just some backstory. Man, yeah. lame. We should have gone. I, uh, at the very least, you're gonna re- re- make awkward like fan fiction. You should make it all about pirates. I'm be a sailor. Arr. Well, like, what the hell? His exposition was like shorter than that little bit about the the nickname. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Dreamfeather nodded and instead of wasting energy with words, thrust himself into Green Bean, getting a pleasured scream to radiate from her hips. He thrust and thrust harder and faster, his hips gone from the rest of his body, doing their own thing, as he rammed again and again into her tight, warm, wet gun. Green Bean cried out his actual name in quick stuttering bursts. Oh no! <laughs> I got it. On, sexy Green Bean. Here you go. Uh... <laughs> Play it up. Oh. Why don't you? <laughs> oh, oh yes, dream, <laughs> dream, dream. I have a dream, feather. <laughs> <laughs> that fast green bean came she didn't even know it was coming so when it was hit it even it was even more powerful <laughs> yes, dream feather was working. slightly confused but undeterred thrust in a few more times and then let himself release <laughs> because that's oh, how orgasms work yes well obviously you know because this person is obviously they're getting the you know they're rolling on the pussy right <laughs> they, <laughs> with, their, with their big their big Six three what is it three thousand word fanfics? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm he's, sure getting, he's getting all the all the girls. As he tips his fedora. And <laughs> yeah. The two held onto each other a moment before basking in the afterglow of their quickly fun time. Quickie. <laughs> <laughs> Dreamfeather was first to catch his breath. That was wonderful, my little sugar bean. But what happened? I thought we had more time than that. Green bean sighed. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought it was quick, jeez. Well, I'm as shocked as you. I didn't expect that to happen. Anyway, it's best for us as it's best for as we need to leave now, or we will be really late. Jeez, we're really irresponsible with this whole doctor's appointment thing. Yeah, and whenever I well, go with anyone, they like whenever I go with my grandparents, and just to get there like forty minutes early. Like the the green uh-huh. man's a pair here. Like, oh, it's, it's fuck. This we, we, is, like, you guys, like, you oh. guys don't just don't give any fucks. Living living life on the edge. Clearly, I'm you guys sure... are like you guys are like that um that what the fuck collective. I don't even give a fuck about not giving a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure if the author had have thought of it he would have inserted the word yolo into the story this 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 author i can just imagine if if he was if he just had a little bit something to drink he'd probably be going on about yolo <laughs> john um, lechua i don't even give a fuck about not giving a fuck. <laughs> oh god well there we go green bean looked up a dream feather and he saw that he was staring at something in the sky she looked up too and saw a huge ring of rainbow colors spreading out across the whole sky what the heck? Then it hit her what she was seeing. Oh. Oh, look at that rainbow dash. Is at it again. 
Why would right, I say that? that? I love Rainbow where, where Dash. Where the hell would she even be? <laughs> Why? She, apparently she's well, just... I don't know. There's no, like, I know, and it just ends with a little period there. Like, if he made an exclamation point, like, he would think, well, maybe, like, there was enthusiasm in that, but apparently not. <laughs> apparently I'm just disappointed. I'm like, Psh, tis, tis, yeah. tis, there's Rainbow Dash at it again. Fucking yep. doing awesome Sonic Rain Booms. God, that show off. Although apparently the next sentence is is there. She's going to be an amazing Wonder Bolt one day. Don't you think so, Vanilla Bean? Oh, God. She looked back at Dreamfeather to see him staring at her with such love-filled eyes it made her blush. What? What, what are you staring at? Dreamfeather drank in the sight before him as a moment longer before he answered. Green Bean was so beautiful to him, and seeing her bright big eyes catching the colors of the rain boom had done something to his soul, and he knew if he moved that moment, he would be gone, so he was still. <laughs> Man, I'm glad still. to know I have the people, I have, I apparently have the ability to kill people, but only when there's a rain boom in my eyes. I need yeah. to find out how to capture this power. And, yeah, and apparently this rain boom, like, is totally reflective. You can see the whole thing in your eyes, Jeez. so that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty OP. Because, because retinas. All right, um... <laughs> Barely breathing while he watched. Oh, that's, yeah. And then there you go. Oh, no, this is, this is me. Yeah. Well, it's a pair. Feather dream. Dream feather. Mm -hmm. Oh, my sweet green bean. I was just watching the rain boom reflect in your beautiful eyes. You are so beautiful to me. I like how they're doing this out in, what is this, the top of the clock tower? That, I don't top, even top of the town hall. This is on top of town hall. They're this... doing this out in the middle of... <laughs> <laughs> like For honestly sake. honestly i'm not the type to, to be like i'm not the kind of person who's yeah. against a little bit of the public sex <laughs> idea but i think that is a little extensive i don't know how you would think you wouldn't get caught in a world of pegasi and other stuff if you're doing it right on town hall i'm pretty sure Hi. people just walking around would hear you yeah, this is pretty great, Gray. Why am I saying that? Oh well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Been watching You're so some... beautiful to me. Now Green Bean felt herself melting. She loved the stallion so much. She felt tears forming in her eyes and leaned forward to kiss Dream Feather as they fell. Their kiss was soft and sweet and lingered on like true love often does. Dream Feather broke the kiss, pulling Green Bean into his chest, so hugging her close. What, the, what, what does this story teaches you? It teaches you that true love does not last, but it lingers on. <laughs> like she lesson of the now. year. Yeah, oh god. She spoke now, hoping her voice didn't crack. Oh, yeah. My voice uh, is well known for doing that, I guess? <laughs> Dream Feather, I, I love... You have a bit of a stutter. I love you so very, very much. But not as Green... much as I love Klondike bars. <laughs> what would you do for a Klondike bar? Apparently you would have sex on top of... <laughs> I'd, I'd have hall. sex on top of Town Hall for a Klondike bar. No, I wouldn't. Like, unless they sold me the company, I probably wouldn't. What would you do for a <laughs> Green Bean cried as emotions overwhelmed her, much to Dream Feather's surprise. He held her tighter and rubbed her gently. He looked up into the sky and saw an amazing thing that he knew had to be, that had to take Green Bean too. Spelled T O, like Dumb and Dumber too. Ah, uh, uh, let's see. I don't even know who is talking now. I I um, yeah. Apparently it's it's you. I, I guess. I, I don't no, know. No, I no, I don't know. Because then it goes on to say the Dream Feather. Oh, it must be yeah, it must be me. Me well, Dream Feather. My yeah. love, my all, come fly with me. I want to show you something amazing. Dreamfeather flapped his wings steadily, pulling Green Bean with him, holding her in his hooves tightly as he flew amazingly steady higher and higher. Amazingly steady higher. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure who wrote this flew amazingly steady higher and higher if you know. Oh what I mean. yeah. 
Where's, uh, I don't know. They apparently don't know what an adverb is. So, <laughs> Green Bean looked at him, amazed, realizing, <laughs> here they were again, amazed, <laughs> I guess, unless there should be a comma there, amazed, realizing that maybe Dream Feather wasn't a terrible flyer, but could only fly when he focused on something reaching the goal and not on flying itself. He well, flew high what, what, into the air. He, wasn't he doing that earlier? Like, what, the entire time he was flying to meet me at the doctor's appointment, he was like, oh, man, I'm such a new flyer. Look at me flying. Oh, yeah. no, it's a yellow one. Well, um, I, think he, I think he was definitely focused on reaching the goal, your sweet plot, apparently. Exactly. I think <laughs> I think there's a major plot hole, not the good kind in this story. But that and really he was a terrible sense. flyer. I mean, that's kind of a dream feather thing. Yeah, um, exactly. So, <laughs> he flew high into the air with her and then landed on a cloud that was shimmering and rainbow-colored. Because that those happen. <laughs> that apparently just happens. They apparently he, forgot to mention that in the show when rainbows happen. <laughs> yeah. He placed her gently on the cloud and smiled. See, isn't this amazing? Uh, it looks like this cloud caught a lot of the rainbow's energy. Okay. <laughs> hey, let's have sexy fun times up here. <laughs> but <laughs> apparently that this whole doctor's appointment thing just doesn't exist anymore. Nope. Green Bean rolled her eyes and laughed. They were clearly never going to get to her appointment. She sighed watching Dream Feather bounce on the other end of the cloud testing its thickness. Seeing the sun shimmer... And I I don't think his... that's I don't think that's how clouds work either. I don't think they work that way. See, not even in magical lands of talking cartoon pony ponies, I don't think they work that way. Exactly. Seeing the sun shimmer on his sleek coat with tiny sweat drops from their most recent sexy fun time, flying off him like glitter in his mane and tail flowing from the breeze, he was making jumping made her thick. This is a completely run-on <laughs> sentence. Made her think she was in some kind of dream. That she Great. Now, now Saper is turning into a goddamn sparkling vampire. It's yeah. happening. Oh, oh no. Yes. <laughs> she wanted to slow down time and make this moment last forever. She couldn't help herself when she, even though they'd been doing this for the lifetimes of every pony in... <laughs> the entire town apparently and, that's in just... the last two weeks apparently this is all they do this <laughs> is all you and Sapere do i was gonna say apparently that's just how high our libidos are we just it's, like it's just all you do <laughs> no nope. all right well made her think she was in some kind of dream she wanted to slow down time and make this moment last forever she couldn't help herself when she pounced him clean off the cloud and he laughed I like how that's one word. He laughed. <laughs> <laughs> and he laughed as they fell through the air in each other's hooves. They broke apart and flew back to the rainbow cloud, only to latch onto one another again in a passionate kiss. Dreamfeather knew he didn't need an invitation to slide his cock into green bean this go around, as he could feel her soft wet gun sliding over his member, trying to pull him in. Is that how it works? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess so. Uh, he pushed in and Science. sighed, pulled out and moaned. <laughs> in and out, sigh and moan were the only directions his brain other understood at that moment. Or, or sigh and moan. Oh, that's nice to know that those are directions now. Uh, I was like, Oh, I yeah. think I'm gonna go up and ask someone that. I'm gonna be like, hey, <laughs> can you point directions? Is it is it sigh or is it towards moan? I need to go to the left street of moan over there. Just yeah. He moved like lightning. His hips thrusting like something that belongs in a race car engine. Jeez. Because those exist in Equestria. And and those <laughs> that's clearly a, uh, all that's those clear exist in question. That's clearly a painful experience, and isn't going to set either of them on fire or uh, be yeah. excruciatingly terrible. That's... Nope, we're, we're going 8,000 revolutions per minute. <laughs> Eight, Green Bean was all screams of joy and moans of pleasure as her mate for the ninth time that day. God, oh, God. <laughs> I mean, I can't shit. That's, that's, that is some serious fucking... That's... I, I believe you were right about your theory about this being literally all they do. 
Green Bean was all screams of joy and moans of pleasure as her mate for the ninth time that day claimed her and bound himself to her again, and again, with each wildly fast and powerful thrust. Her wings were ramrod straight as were his, and poked into the cloud like daggers. The two were too lost in love to notice the cloud, now sagging now, and they didn't realize it had given up on staying solid till they were falling out of the sky. Once again, not how clouds work in Equestria, but alright. Not really. Ah, they, uh, it, it's one of those things I can't describe exactly how they work, but they aren't exactly like solid objects, and they certainly aren't like solid objects that randomly decide to not be solid objects. They're very pony controlled. Oh, yes. <clears throat> oh, my stars, Dream Feather. I feel like I'm falling. This feels so good. I hope we fall to our deaths now. It will be the final climax, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, God. Dream Feather smiling to himself. I'm imagining, like, that. Remember the fir the very. No, the second episode when, like. Twilight Let's Go, and then Drew Applejack has that weird smile. <laughs> yeah. Like, of, like because this is because this is what he says now. Well, my love, that's because you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you're, you're fallen. Uh, but don't worry, I've got you, and I won't stop making you feel good. They're they're gonna do the the Pegasus sixty nine apparently. Apparently so. Um, and I won't stop making you feel good, so just focus on coming for me, okay? <laughs> Green Bean only registered part of his words, and they were, won't stop and come for me. The air rushing over her stone-stiff wings only served to stimulate her more, pushing her over the edge until finally in a torrent of white fluid, she came filling the sky with her love for her mate. Oh, Filling this all. <laughs> filling the sky with your cup. Well, that would explain why we're, 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 like, so constant. I'm pretty sure we're, we're just, like, the demigods of lovemaking and don't know it. Or maybe yeah, demi-demons. Like... Yeah, you, you make the rain come. <laughs> Quite literally. Um. Uh, 10 out of 10. Zero out of ten. IGN uh, had well, it had rain. And figuratively. Okay. Well. Uh, let's see. And then the way this is written too, I, I kind of lost track. Let's see. I'm. Yep. Okay. Yep. Dream Feather registered the cloud getting. Oh, the ground getting closer. Blanked out as the world went white when he came like a hose that had suddenly had the water released from a kink in it. Return to the world to find they were only about 20 feet from hitting the ground and flapped his still stiff wings trying hard to adjust to their landing. He managed to straighten them out, but the speed they were going while locked together was far too fast to land with any type of grace. In fact, he knew they were going to crash, but his brain was divided in between two worlds. In one world, he was about to break his and his mate's neck and have their heads spinning around the wrong way. In the other world, he was warm and happy in a place that his wet, but, oh, that was wet, but it was okay, because he liked it wet in this world. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, good, good <laughs> to know. So Pear's a fan of the water levels. Oh, God. Oh, God, no, I wasn't even thinking of that. Oh, God. <laughs> He groaned and pulled himself free of the second world, as the first and harder world was sending them well, both pretty hard. <laughs> the harder world was sending them both on a path of unbelievable pain. He didn't want Green Bean to suffer this pain. He closed his eyes and pulled her tight to his chest as he rolled them in the air at the last second, putting himself beneath her to be his cushion her but to be her cushion for the fall. Before they hit the ground, he tucked his wings as best he could, given off how stiff they were, and let gravity do the rest. Gravity you know, pulled them into you a You know, field. this would be, like, the worst way to die ever. Like, <laughs> Well, would be... it wouldn't be that, you know... Mm -hmm. It'd be embarrassing, that's for sure. This would be yeah. the most embarrassing way to die. It'd be pretty I'll give embarrassing. You that. Wouldn't be too bad, though, I imagine. Well, I, I <laughs> guess it'd be quick, and I mean, you but would at least die happy, go out with a bang, all that. Uh, yeah. Death by orgasm. <laughs> that's probably happened before. 
<laughs> Gravity, yeah, I've heard of old people having heart attacks. <laughs> Gravity pulled them into a field, and Dr Dreamfeather winced as his back slid along the hard earth, small stones cutting into his flesh. He thought he'd be okay, but then a large rock appeared out the ground and hit his <laughs> on it. He heard a sickening pop and felt a sharp pain in his shoulder. Then nothing as his head hit a lar another large rock. Jeez. As the world faded to magically back, appearing rocks. They yeah. are the worst shit. Also, <laughs> also, is that how wings work? The show, uh, yeah, I, mm. I guess. As the world faded to black, silence he heard. Green beans screamed, screams and other ponies talking frantically around him. Then nothing. When he awoke, he opened his eyes to find himself in the hospital with a cast on his wing and a bandage on his head. He looked around and saw a green bean sitting in a chair, sleeping. She looked so peaceful, and he smiled, looking at her resting with her hooves on her stomach. She was all, she was his all, and he was happy to see she was unharmed. You know, this was probably the first time I went, I've been asleep in, like, two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> green beanie, baby. Green beanie, wake up, love. Oh, man. Green beanie, baby. I think that's, that's the worst thing I've ever been called in my whole life. Green beanie, baby. <laughs> Remember those Beanie Baby things? I remember those Beanie Baby things. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Can you pause this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ollie was off finding kings and dinner and whatever else YT peers find. Um, <laughs> but... Kangas? I, I was off, no, I was not off finding Kangas. <laughs> Uh, that's... Well, kinda. I did have to take a piss. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, it's it's yep. it's fact. I was snooping as usual. I see. Ah. <laughs> uh... Oh, you can can continue right. onwards. I will I'm, continue I'm sorry, onwards. Just... Yes. Green bean stirred, moaning softly as she stretched her legs out and her eyes fluttered open with her looking in his direction. She smiled, seeing him awoke, and stood from the chair gingerly as if her hoof hurt. Vin walked slowly towards the bed where Dreamfeather lay, supposedly recuperating from his ordeal. Supposedly, but this hospital was really full of vampires who planned to steal our souls and, I don't know, knowing this fanfiction, rape us, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Man, it's, it's I wish that. Once again, I wish here. that's where this fan fiction went. Trust yeah, me. Yeah, at reason. least it would be something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Well, Green Bean looked at him, her eyes full of worry and love, then smiled at him. Oh, Dream Feather, how could you do something so foolish? It's, it's not like I should have told you to not be an idiot as well, but whatever. You could have died. Or seriously broken your wings. But seriously, you, you, sh you should have died. Dream feather. I haven't been able to sleep in weeks. Um, I'm done. Well, you, no, you're not, because you've got another one. Oh, in that <laughs> God damn it. I didn't even see that. The story is just blurring my vision up. Something heavy. Well, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even even within a better even in a good font, which trust me, the story isn't originally. It's normally a huge text file of doom, which I'm going to put in the description. Um even in a proper text it just somehow all clumps together. Admittedly I didn't separate it as well as I could have. <clears throat> but yeah. yes. There you go. As <clears throat> as it is though, you just pop one popped one out of place. Also, I have something rather important to tell you. Dreamfeather sat up and looked at her cautiously. What is it, my love? Tell me what's wrong. Greenbean smiled and shook her head. Oh, no, love, nothing's uh, wrong. So that's oh, no, me again. that is you. Yeah, here yes. you go. Oh, no, love, nothing's wrong. It's just, well, I'm... I'm... I'm pregnant! Fuck the explanation <laughs> points. The, 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 the three exclamation <laughs> points there. Uh... And then the ellipse is waiting for it. <laughs> No spaces. Oh god. Green Bean beamed at Dreamfeather, her smile as bright as the sun. Dreamfeather looked at her in shock, then started laughing warmly. Green Bean watched him cautiously, worried. Why does this. Why is this now? 
<laughs> so like, the, no, they go, they go up and fuck on the clouds and nine times that yeah. day. You know, they really should have. They really should have assumed of... that. They really should have assumed that she's pregnant. But I know why it's now. It's why she had a doctor appointment today. They just. Well, I get it. I get it because okay. like now she's like, I could have gotten hurt, but. No, we no, that's of that because that's that's not that's not why. Um, but like the reason why is because that's the reason they were having a doctor. I assume she was feeling weird, and oh, they're planning yeah. a doctor's appointment. Um, and she was gonna uh -huh. find that out. But then they went and did like one of the dumbest things ever, and now she found it out anyways. Uh -huh. And Dream Feather's like wing is injured, but I mean, uh -huh. really, should th was this should this be a surprise to either of them, considering they what they have been doing? Oh, I yeah, would be been having sex nonstop if, for weeks. If, if either of them was surprised by this, I would be so disappointed. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yep, you and you and you and Sapere. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I need to tell Sapere. Uh, but I am pregnant <laughs> with his secret baby. <laughs> Green Bean watched him cautiously. Uh, let's see here. Worried that he may have hit his head harder than the doctor's first thought. But his laugh soon turned into a loving smile. I'm sorry, love. Don't worry about... Is this you or... Yeah, this must be me. This... I'm sorry, love. Don't worry about me. I'm just so happy right now. I was wondering what was wrong with you the last few days, and this explains a lot. I think right now I'm the happiest stallion in all of Equestria. My question is, what was wrong for the past few days? I don't know if they're if they're fucking like normal. <laughs> and nothing's changed. I, I don't know. It doesn't sound like it has. Yeah, you uh... have the strength to to nine times that day, but yet you're feeling weird. Oh. Um. Dream Feather beamed at night at Green Bean, and she couldn't help but smile back brightly. Then she noticed his smile took an, on a more mischievous air. Of course hey, it did. Green Bean, you know how I've been saying that lately you just seem to glow and look so good? Well, now I know why. It seems that you've gotten even more beautiful, and, well, it has caused some problems. Well, apparently Sapere has a... Has a uh, fetish for, for, for bigger ponies. <laughs> yeah, preg pregnant ponies. It is it is a real fetish, but it's just, once again, just a thing that happens. Just a this. thing that apparently Dream Feather has. Yeah. Alright. He slid the covers off to himself, and to reveal his members slowly throbbing its way, free of the protective skin sheath. I think maybe it's time for some sexy fun times. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think so, my beautiful green man? Uh... <laughs> And this, this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Perfect. Green Bean shook her head at him and smiled as she walked out with a, with a second thought over to the bed. Her body moved, yeah, because you gotta, you know, maybe you might want to think about twice doing this without even bothering to check to shut the door, maybe, or... <laughs> Her body moved as if it were in autopilot as she climbed onto the bed and kissed her mate softly. She sighed into his mouth as he wrapped his hooves around her, pulling her tight against him. Green Bean broke the kiss, looking at Dream Feather, her heart so full of love for him that it hurt. Oh, Dream Feather, I could ask for nothing that's, that's, more. That's me again. Oh, that is you. <clears throat> Here you go. Ah, uh, we're sitting this in Sapere's. I'll steal my lines. <laughs> oh, Dream Feather, I could ask for nothing more wonderful than you. You're so wonderful to me that I just had to restate it. I love you so much. <laughs> I'm going to... I just had to restate it. <laughs> she hugged him tightly as she felt emotions washing over her. Now she knew their baby was why she was constantly crying about little things, and the thought of being filled with Dreamfeather's little one made her cry more. Dream Feather held her close and kissed her ear and neck, smiling at how much love he felt from her. She was his whole world, and he wouldn't trade anything ever for this moment he was sharing with her. You know, in in a better written fan fiction, that would actually be a pretty good way to leave off the story. But of course, this <laughs> isn't. Nope, nope. They have to. They have to. You know, keep 
rutting each other. Yeah, it's necessary. You gotta do, gotta do it in the hospital, or it's it's not three a real. Three times, three times in the story, and nine times before, and yeah. two weeks before that. <laughs> he oh. whispered in her ear softly as her crying started to subside. Green Bean, you are my sun and moon, my river and cloud, my every joy and all my dreams. You are the rest of me, and I hope I'll always be the rest of you. He took her face into his hooves, looking deeply into her eyes as he spoke softly to her. You are the reason I wake, and now you have given me another reason to wake and smile every day, whatever may come. <laughs> <laughs> Emphasis on come. <laughs> you, are the, uh... you are the heart in my chest, the blood in my veins, the wind beneath my wings, the apple of my eye. You are my everything. You are the cliché of every story. <laughs> And I, I would love, do or give anything for you. I love being the cliche of every story. Uh, now when do we get to poisoning each other? I, I don't know. For you, my beloved green bean, are a thousand... Or, for you, my beloved green bean, are worth thousands of my life. You are worth my soul, and I'd gladly I'd give it to you. Oh, well, yeah, that's true, I I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're, you're, you're pretty special. I'm I'm worth thousands of sapers. I another thing I need to go tell him. I need to be like sub sapper, or the thousand. You you ain't got nothing on me. Uh -uh. Oh man, I had the bit. Well, never mind. Um, green <laughs> green bean felt tears running from her eyes again and whimpered softly as dream feather kissed them away gently. Green bean, I love you more than life itself. I never want another mare but you, and I never, and I never want any mother. Good grief! The way this is written is, is kind of makes it. It's just awkward. And I never want any other mare but you to have my foals. I am so happy it should be criminal. And even if it was, I wouldn't change a thing about what we have. If loving you were a crime, then I'd be given the death penalty for it. Green bean, baby, I love you more than I could ever say. Well, you Dream sure better... tried to say it. Yeah. <laughs> In the most redundant way possible. Yep. Dreamfeather kissed his mate hard, hoping to meld himself to her forever, hoping that this moment would stay in her mind for all their lives, even if they both got old and crazy and he wanted to keep at least this one memory. Green Bean returned her mace kiss with enthusiasm as soon uh and soon the other two were pant the two were panting hard from desire. Green yes, bean. because that random off off mention of like freaking Alzheimer's completely <laughs> appropriate in this really yes. this story. Green bean, dream feather whispered breathlessly. Let's have our sexy fun time. <laughs> we might want to get started before the nurse comes. Uh, that's like one of the worst ways you can stay in it. Also, yes, before the nurse <laughs> comes in this hospital. <laughs> Uh, he didn't have to tell her twice, and before he was really ready, Green Bean had slid her soft, wet cunt over his throbbing member and started bouncing softly at first, but soon she was riding him as if she were in the rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we need a, can you insert sound bites in there? In this? Because if you, if you did, you should, you should insert soups on every pony. <laughs> I I'll try my best, but uh, I don't know. We'll That's see. pretty funny. Um, the two were so lost in each other that they never even heard the nurse come in and leave back out after having seen them in action. Um, I don't even know. Apparently, this is her. No, who I'll is? I'll read the. Oh, this I'll is the doctor. The yeah, you read the stuff. nurse. Okay. No, the doctor. Okay. You read everybody else. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Let's see. Uh. Oh, God. Ah, there you are, Nurse Joy Bell. <laughs> now I just need to find your 400 clones. <laughs> Tell me, how is Mr. Dreamfeather doing? I'd like to model to him closely. <laughs> He took a rather nasty bump to the head, and I want to make sure there are no serious injuries we might have missed. Mr. Joy Bell blushed and smiled at the doctor. <clears throat> 
Well, Dr. Stein, I think he's doing very well at the moment. In fact, I think he is so well that he may be ready to leave tomorrow. Dr. Stein looked at her curiously. Excuse me, Nurse... Oh, that's you. Excuse me, Nurse Joy, but are you f yourself feeling well? You look like you've turned hot... You look like you went from pink to hot red. Oh, yes. In fact, he says, you have taken on a reddish tint. Do you have maybe a fev? A fev? A fez? Like... <laughs> The doctor didn't get to finish his question as a cry came from the room and <laughs> he and Nurse Joy Bell were standing in front of... Oh, Joy. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, got, I, got, I gotta do this for great justice. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, 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 yes. Dream Feather. Yes. Just like that. <laughs> Hit a home run! <laughs> uh, oh, sun and moon! Yes! Oh, God. I feel Nurse, dirty. Nurse Joy, I know, right? <laughs> Nurse Joy Bell turned... <laughs> what is it, Nurse Joy Bell? <laughs> I really don't know. Nurse Joy Bell turned about shady... About, about 20 shades redder and 50 shades grayer. <laughs> And Dr. Stein felt his own cheeks warming from a blush. Well, then, that was, I guess, you, oh well, <laughs> was all the doctor could manage to get his mouth to say. <clears throat> yes, well, as I said, Dr. Stein, I do believe he's recovering well and may be ready to go home tomorrow. Or on second, second thought, maybe tonight. Nurse Joy Bell turned to go down the hall. Well, let's give him time... Oh, it's you. Sorry. I, I realize that I messed up this end bit somehow. There's just always more of this story than you think there is. And jeez, I seem to miss an entire paragraph of fixing this thing. That's all right. <clears throat> Thanks. Ah. Uh... Okay. Well, let's give him time to recover and t check on his progress later. Shall... Oh. <clears throat> Soft. <laughs> Voice projecting. And check out his progress later. Shall we, Dr. Stein? Plenty of other patients, patients to check on. It's like, like not like this could make his head concussion any worse or anything. Oh, no. Dr. Stein smiled in agreement and followed behind Nurse Joybell. Yeah, I, I bet he followed behind her. <laughs> Knowing this story, probably so. <laughs> Is there gonna be a side fic? I, I <laughs> honestly, I'm surprised it was another thing I'm almost disappointed in. Like uh -huh. I, I think, I think they should have just seen us. They should have just heard us and immediately just mounted each other. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yes, you are correct, Nurse Joy Bell, and please call me Frank. Stein sounds so informal and cold. Don't you think? Oh, oh God, was I right? <laughs> About him being Nurse Frank. Joy Bell, I see. Well, look, look at this. Nurse Joy Bell turned and looked at Doctor Frank Stein. Well, to be honest, Doctor, I like your name. I like it a lot. She turned. Oh. She turned and trotted away. Her tail flagging in the air as another cry came from the room <laughs> behind them. Doctor Frank Stein looked at the door and. Smiled, then trotted down the hall after Nurse Joy Bell. Oh, God. The end. Maybe. Oh, no. <laughs> it might be a side fic. Uh. <laughs> uh. Let's see if I can summarize what will probably be here. <laughs> Nurse, Nurse Joy Bell and Dr. Stein find an empty room. They fuck. They find another empty room. They fuck. And then they go outside and fuck in an incredibly dangerous location. And then there's a side, and they another end side up thing. In the hospital they work at. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and uh, soon enough, by the end of probably the 17 stories this guy will write, everyone will be in the hospital fucking their brains out. 
It will be- it, th this is probably a virus that the doctors have somehow not caught, and it is taking over the world. This is the- this is the real T-virus, people. It's the- it's the- it's the D-virus. Nice. Ah, uh, that was terrible. <laughs> but seriously, so... That was that. It was- That was Dream of Bean by Rainbow DJ Pony, a.k.a. Rainbow Melody. Let's all give him a hand for give him a hoof. trying. Here we go. Yeah. Flop, 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 flop. I mean clap. <laughs> everyone's, everyone's, yes, I'm sure everyone is going to clap to this. Uh, oh, probably. Yeah, that's and, and by that perfect. I mean... <laughs> clap and then, you know, tip their fedoras to each other. Yep. <laughs> you, guys, you guys better tip your fedoras. Tip your waiters, tip your fedoras, d tip your tables, I guess. I, I don't even know where to go from there. I think... Yeah, this... Maybe, you know, to enjoy this, you probably gotta tip back a glass. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> maybe a whole bottle, just to be safe. <laughs> yep, some Sam Adams. Uh, Alright, I think we're good. Um, thank you all for watching, and we hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.